Welcome back everybody to the Neon Kitchen. My name is Chef Mark Segovia. We're here at the beautiful Neon Exchange in Gilroy, California. Uh, behind the camera, we have Tony Bowles rocking the What's camera everyone? again. How you doing, Tony? Thank you for always kicking butt back there. No problem. Um, we do have a cool, cool, I always say cool because it's a lot of appetizers today. Uh, we're in the middle of summer, you guys. It's getting a little warmer. Uh, you're gonna be having some parties out there. Let's think of some appetizers. Let's think of some different things for your guests. So I brought out three different appetizers, quick ones that will do for you guys. And you guys are gonna love them. Check out the, the ingredients real quick. We got fresh basil, cilantro, jalapeno, that's for you. I know you guys like the yes. spicy stuff. Onions, tomatoes, brie cheese, garlic, black beans. Um, I did get a canned black beans, but you feel free to make your own at home if you like. Okay. Uh, we have some fresh berries here and some bread, you guys. Uh, before we get started, I do want to introduce our guest uh, this week. Uh, she's right upstairs here at the Neon Exchange. <laughs> she's up there kicking butt every day. I see her all the time. This doesn't even feel like a show. This feels like some friends hanging out today. And I, um, But I love it. I love the, the, the energy in here today. So we're going to be rocking and rolling. We do have Karen Edson Sperger in the house. She's the owner of Zen Bookkeeping and Notary. Karen. Hello, Karen. Look at the Hello. beautiful shirt. You're just... I know. She's glowing. She's glowing. Yeah, she's glowing. Office number 11 upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> say one, one, one. Yeah. one. <laughs> and so we do, Karen, can you talk to us a little about what, about what Zen Bookkeeping and Notary does? Uh, Zen Bookkeeping is, specializes in small businesses. Mm -hmm. um, the motto is bring balance to your books. What I'd like for all of my customers is for you to come in and have a comfortable experience and for me to worry about the, the tough business kind of financial things and you get to relax and do what it, what works best for that you. I love that. I love that. I love that. So she does, just FYI, she does all the books for the Neon. Nice, nice. And you get rocking and rolling, so tell me what's your level of cooking? Do you like to cook? I love cooking. Uh oh, we might be in trouble. She might take over the show, you guys. <laughs> I'm telling you, but thank you for coming on today. We're going to rock it. Thank you. So we do have our oven on at 350 right now, you guys. I have uh, two sheet pans here. One's going to be for the brie, and one's going to be for the bread, vice versa, whatever. Uh, we have a little pot here that we're going to be cooking down. Uh, our, we're not going to add no sugar. It's going to be water and berries. That's all we're going to put in there. Okay. Let it cook down. Let it break it down a little bit. So uh, you've had all this stuff before. You like all this stuff? You like brie? Absolutely. The black beans. All right, we're going to rock and roll here. Uh, let's get the sheet pan over here. And the way I like to, you could go to a store, a lot of them already have, Christini's already made for you. Okay. I like to my, make my homemade because what they're doing is using day old bread and making you Christini's. So let's make our own homemade. Let's get rid of this corner. What do you cook at home? Uh, everything? What's your everything. favorite? My, well, my husband right now during the summer is doing a lot of grilling and Ooh, cooking yeah. on the, the flat top. So I basically prepare, he cooks. Nice. Um, right, you're the sous chef. I'm the sous chef. All right. <laughs> During the winter, it's a lot of chilies and uh, uh, anything I can get the guys to eat, whatever's on their mind. What does he like to barbecue? Just anything? Uh, he's been doing tri tips and London broils, marinated London broils. Oh, nice. Um, steak, a lot of steak, a lot of sausage. Uh, and we just recently started doing street corn. Oh, I love it all day. Uh, so good, yeah. What do you put on yours? Uh, crema. I always ask everybody, and everyone's so different. Crema, cojito, cojita, um, garlic, a uh, little bit of mayonnaise with the crema, a um, little bit of chili powder, and then some more to finish when you're done. Ooh, so we're going to have to do one here. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> think, you got to think of our next show. We're going to do a, some elotes, man. I'm telling you. Shout out to Brett. Yeah, Hello, Brett. Brett. What's up, Brett? Woo. <laughs> next time, I, if I ever go over there, we're going to have some elotes. Yeah. Well, why don't you come over? We'll have dinner and and have the parents. Yeah. And, and <laughs> we'll introduce the, introduce yeah. mom yeah. and dad. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mom, you heard that, mom? It wasn't yeah. me. I'm telling you. My brother put a home party. No, not my mom. <laughs> <laughs> so what I do with you is a quick slice. You can pick any any thickness you like. So I just fill up this cheap pan. Real simple. These are real simple. And these will hold for a couple of days. These okay. Hold for a couple of days. Um, They'll stay uh, nice and crispy. Olive oil, you guys? You're just straight oh, drizzling just, yeah, right on top. Right there. Okay. Let's watch that, because there's some technique there that I'm like, hmm. Just like so, look at that. Super cool. And then circle it, and we're nice. good. And I put a little dash of salt and pepper on there just for some little bit of flavor. Go high. Bring, bring it high so you can get a, more space. 
Even coding. Even coding. There we go. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Nothing crazy. Put these in the oven for a couple minutes. We'll keep an eye on them, you guys. Uh -huh. And I'll let you know exactly how many how many minutes are in there. Meanwhile, Karen, yes. in terms of bookkeeping, I know you do all of our books at uh -huh. the Neon. So what brought you? I know you had a background in uh, school administration, right? So mm -hmm. like what brought you to the whole accounting and bookkeeping? Because that's, by the way, my least favorite world. <laughs> <laughs> Who did I know? Um, well, I, I've never... You, in school administration, you do a lot of work with budgets. I, you know, it's a lot of staffing, a lot of working with people, yeah. and then behind the scenes, after hours, what have you, you're working on books. It's just a different kind of books. Yeah. Um, so it's always been in my wheelhouse, and when I made the switch from one uh, career to another, I decided to kind of use those skills. Yeah, and you're so good at it. And you do keep me in line, and you're very patient. Thank you. And you have the gentle touch of the nudge of what's this about? <laughs> Can you explain this? <laughs> yeah, which is perfect because it's not, you know, it's like sometimes I need the gentle reminder. <laughs> but in, in addition to that, recently you decided to branch off into um, being a notary, right? Uh -huh. And so a lot of your documents are having to do with loan processing and what else? There's a ton of refinance, some general notary mm -hmm. work with trusts and that kind of thing. Um, it was a total accident. I started it to um, to provide a service to my customers, and then found out how crazy you know we all we know how crazy <laughs> the um, the market is right now. There's tons of work for uh, yeah. refinances, and it's a lot of fun to go out and see new people and check things out. So I get to kind of be in the office for a while and go out and have some fun. Yeah, and she's That's definitely a people person. That's so. the way to do it. So in here I have uh, three cups of water. I did measure it. Okay. I have a cup measure over here, and we have about. I would say about a cup and a half of fruit. You could use all berries, I mean one blackberry, all blueberries, whatever you want. Okay. I just went and got a little mixture here. All we're gonna do is let the water cook this down a little bit, bring it to a boil, and put it on low, and let the fruit really just cook down a little bit. Okay. We're not gonna add no sugar to it or nothing like that. Uh, this is pretty much the same way you would do a, uh, a jelly. Okay. Uh, breaking it down, then you would add some pepsin after, after some uh, Something a thickener, mm -hmm. and then uh, but this is just water. That's it. Water. We're gonna let set it and, and forget, forget it. it. But you don't need to cover it, right? Don't yeah. Don't cover it. Just leave it like that. And once it starts boiling stuff, I'll start showing you the process of it, you guys. Okay. We have this in here going. It's going for about a minute and a half right now. Okay. It'll go for a little bit. I was thinking, I was just thinking about you about how if if your business picked up after COVID with all the mom and pop companies really mm -hmm. that took that took off during uh, COVID. But now they're looking for bookkeepers, mm -hmm. and they're looking. Uh, have Have you seen a? It's influx? definitely picked up since since. Uh, I guess you know I really started to roll around. Uh, the business started in a year ago, January, but I started to roll around July, mm -hmm. and things are. I, especially even this month, it's picked up a lot. So, the combination is keeping me pretty busy with the the notary and the bookkeeping. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. I'm definitely gonna send everyone your way. Thank you. <laughs> Tomatoes, you guys. Tomatoes. We're gonna start making bruschetta real quick. Tomatoes. Take these. Take these off. All you do is take off the tops of those. You know how to do this, right, Tony? I just learned right now. <laughs> use the tip of your knife. Uh huh. Just, just go around it like this. It's like almost like coring it, but not yeah, all the way through. Yeah, exactly. Just okay. getting that top part off. I left a little bit in there. Let's get it out. Some might be a little stubborn. You're gonna just get it. There we go. And remember, I always have a little bowl there for you guys to go there. So how are you enjoying working here at uh, the Neon upstairs? I love working here. It's a, a vacation every time I work here. <laughs> I know the owner is pretty tough. So I know. Really you know, like she's the real problem. But yeah. <laughs> how are we going to do is dice these up real simple. And that's it. You're just simply dicing. Yes. A nice little dice on there. Okay. Something crazy. I do think, Karen, correct me if I'm wrong, I do think like the cross networking component, like having so many different businesses, whether they're non profit or for profits in the same building, yes. you know, kind of cross networking and saying, oh, I'm struggling with this. And then, oh, I got a, a person who's good with numbers. It's a very rich uh, bank to pull from here. Yeah. Um, when you, uh, there's such a cross section of, of people. That you, I mean, it may be something personal that you you talk to somebody about, 
or, um, or business related, but there's a lot of, um, of people to pull from and to give back to. Yeah, totally. And when you need a notary on a hot dime, people <laughs> walked in off the, no joke, people walked in off For the real? street and said, oh, I heard you had a notary. <laughs> I remember when there was no upstairs, you remember? When oh, yeah. Upstairs, yeah, I mean, I look at it now just thriving down there. I mean, you've been here since the day one. The very beginning. Day one. The very beginning. I, I think you were the second person I met here. You were working yeah. in the front, yes. Yeah, my first desk was downstairs. I could see you looking at me like, what did this guy want? <laughs> what did this guy want? <laughs> no, I looked at you and said, nice person. You got that on film. I did, yeah, yeah. So we have this diced, you guys. It's like so. Diced tomato. Real easy. All right. There we go. I'm gonna dice some onion. You have a good trick for dicing onion? You know how? I think I do it about like you do it. Here. Let's oh see. no. Let's see here. I make a. I cut the top off and make a grid, and then slice through it, and it comes out nice, diced. Nice. Nice. So let's do this one. But that way is also a way that I do. It. <laughs> let's do this part. I can hear the. I can hear the water starting to boil over here. So after we cut the onion, we'll take a look at it. Okay. I just cut some lines over, cut this here. And we're not gonna put too much red onion because red onion could be pretty strong. But I'm gonna I'm gonna get, I'm gonna cut as much as I can here because mm -hmm. we are gonna re use red onion in both dishes. Um, in the black bean, we which we call uh, Texas cowboy caviar. That's what that is. That's what that is. I remember I was telling Karen a story. I worked for a, a tea house in Texas, and she goes, uh, the chef goes, give me the caviar. I go. Caviar the tea house there's no caviar mm -hmm. and I was like I'm chef I can't find the caviar she goes it's the black bean salsa they call it caviar in Texas mm -hmm. so you actually could google it it'll come up nice there we go see that dice right there there we go so you just took about half of that purple oh uh, yeah I, so this is about a quarter of a red onion okay. there's a pretty big red onion here pretty big one so we did just about a quarter of it we don't want it too uh you know, we don't want it too, too much onion in there or else okay. I'll overpower everything. Okay. Karen, where can we find out more information about um, Zen Bookkeeping and Notary? Or how would we best contact you, say, if we wanted to get something notarized? Uh, the best way if you want to get something notarized is just to give me a call at 831-207-9572. Okay. Um, that's my cell phone. It will reach me whenever, wherever I am. Um, and then I can make an appointment and meet people anywhere. I'm a mobile notary, so I go to you. Um, oh, but I also have the office upstairs, so if that's more comfortable, we can meet here. <laughs> um, and then for bookkeeping, again, call me, email me at zenbookscaren at gmail.com. Or you can go to my website, zen-bookkeeping.com. Nice. Every time, every time I think of the Zen, I always just like peace. How peaceful. Peaceful, yes. Well, have you seen her wallpaper in her office? No. It is very peaceful. For real? Yes. <laughs> so let's take a look at this real quick. There it goes. Breaking down. Oh, yeah. That's what we want. We're going to put it on low now. Okay. Leave it on low. That's it. Bang. Let's check our, uh, let's check our Christinis here. Let me look for a non-pink. Never mind. <laughs> There we go. I'll get you a black one just for so you. These are a little, still a little soft in the middle. We want them, we want them uh, crispy because when you get that juice on there, you don't want it just to fall apart. That crisp is going to hold that mm -hmm. juice in there. Okay. So let's finish the bruschetta here, you guys. I got red onion, tomatoes. That's it right now. Okay. Take a look at that. Let's add some basil. What I, the way to cut basil is you roll it like a cigarette. Mm -hmm. they, they, they call this chiffonade. That's the, and then you just... Because especially basil, you won't see this done with any other herb, only basil, because basil bruises so easy. Mm -hmm. If you were just chop it, chop it up like you do cilantro, it'll turn black. It'll just look yeah. black on you. And it, it, it'll, it'll, it'll just look ugly. This will keep its color a little longer. It'll still turn black. You'll see, you can tell right there. See how it's turning black yeah. already? And this will keep its, uh, it'll look nice in there and also keep its color. It smells so good. You smell that? Yeah. Okay, add half of this. Half, half of the minced garlic, like so. Some salt and pepper. It's fairly easy. It's fairly easy. Yeah, fairly, very even. This, this you could do so much with right here. Just you could, uh, you know, if you want to add shrimp to it, you want to add different stuff to it. You play with it. Mm -hmm. There's so many different recipes online, bruschetta mm -hmm. that it's, it's just fun. Have a good time with it. Let's put that there. Let's add a little bit of olive oil. And we had about a quarter of a cup. Let me see. Yeah, 
about a quarter of a cup there. Okay. And then we'll gauge it and see if we need more. This is about three fourths of a cup of uh, red wine vinegar. Mm -hmm. There we go. We'll add about half of that right there. And this, you want that bite. You want that bite to it. Look at this. Oh my God, it already smells so good. I think I might need a little salt and pepper, just what I think. I could be wrong. I've been wrong once or twice in my life. <laughs> that might be the first time right here, yes. Pre COVID. Pre COVID, yes. yeah. Let's add a little bit. There we go. That looks wonderful. Let's take let's take a look at these crostinis real quick. Okay. And I'm pulling them. They're gonna be ready. That was a total of roughly what? Like uh, 18 about those went in for about nine minutes. Okay. Nine minutes. See that's what we're looking for, you guys. When you put this on here. It stays on there, nice and crispy like that. Perfect. We gotta give it to the camera lady, see if she wants it. Yes. It's warm, it's hot, be careful. Oh. Okay. You get one after. Yeah. You're gonna, she's gonna get it. She gets everything here, she gets okay. everything. So let's put this there, take a look at that. What do you think? It looks beautiful. Oh my God, that's delicious. Good. Oh my God, that's super delicious. I didn't pay her to say that, guys. I didn't pay her to say that. <laughs> so here's our simple bruschetta. You got real simple. How simple was that? Very simple. Real easy. What I do also at home, I'll do a bruschetta chicken. Mm -hmm. I'll do this same ingre ingredients. Put it. I'll, I'll bake some chicken. When it's about three quarters of the way done, take it out, put this on top, and put it back in the oven. Nice. So this sauce gets a little warm, mm -hmm. but also the chicken's cooked all the way. And throw some mozzarella at the end on top. Forget about it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. That's awesome. So next, what we got is our baked brie, you guys. Uh, a lot of people will wrap it in phyllo dough or phyllo dough. Uh, there's different ways to do this. Myself, there, everyone, there's a big, big old controversy on, do you take this off or not, like this? Mm -hmm. Do you take it off when you need brie? Do you, I don't, I leave it on. I even uh, talk to cheese professionals. Uh, I, talk, I was at a cheese tasting in Santa Cruz with cheese makers from all over the world. And, I was waiting when I got my ticket. I said, I'm gonna ask him this question when I get there. You know, because every chef I talk to is different. Everything mm -hmm. online is different. Do you shave this off when you when you eat it before, or do you leave it on there? All of them said it doesn't matter. It's whatever you like. Mm -hmm. It's whatever you like. It's a preference. Okay. You know what I mean, some people it might be too strong for them. For me, it's delicious. So mm -hmm. we're using it. Okay. And cool. I know she likes it, so we're good. <laughs> Real easy, you guys. Bam! Put it in the oven. You'll see it start breaking down a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking for. We don't want it running everywhere. Got it. Just break down a little bit. And when that's done, we're going to add these wonderful berries right on top. <gasps> oh my gosh. That looks gorgeous. So and you we, don't put anything on the pan underneath Nothing the on the pan. Okay. Nothing on the pan. Throw it right in. Bada bing. Bada boom. Mm -hmm. 350 degrees. We'll put that in there for about five minutes. Take a look at it. Okay. We're, just, we're not looking for toastiness. We're looking for softness, a texture thing. Ooziness. <laughs> <laughs> so next what we're gonna do is our Texas caviar, cowboy caviar, you guys. We have one can of beans. And like I said, feel fresh to use uh feel fresh. Feel free to use fresh beans. <laughs> Tony you I usually really catch, I usually really catch me on that one. Again, tomatoes. So right here we have black beans. Okay. Let's do, let's do uh, one. You said two, can. Two. They come in a can. Yeah, you could okay. do uh, okay. you could do can or, or you know, I wasn't going to boil five pounds just for like for today. Yeah. So uh, so I just put a can of a can. You get a can anywhere. They have so many different varieties. Okay. And get whatever you want, whatever uh, works for you. Or do them at home fresh. Make a whole bunch and save them. Make those tostadas, smash them up or something. Uh, oh, yeah. That's what we should do next. We got, we got a bunch of ideas for the next <laughs> show. So this will be really easy, you guys. Tomatoes. So Karen, so what else do you have coming up? What do you, what do you have going on? What are you working on? Um, talk to us. What's going on out there in the bookkeeping world? Bookkeeping world. Yes. Um, I I don't have uh, any real events coming up. We're just uh, kind of keeping things going. I'm trying to find new businesses to partner with. Uh, it sounds to me, you told me once that the specialty, the things that you like to do were start, you said cleaning up, cleaning books up and starting people who are starting new, a fresh, like a fresh new business. Well, I have a keen uh, appreciation for starting a new business and what the challenges are and how scary it is to try and, and be everything in a business. 
um, you know, you're your marketer, yeah. you have your product, you're trying to sell to people and enjoy being with customers, and then all the financial things, and that's probably not a lot of fun for a lot of people. Um, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to cook. <laughs> yeah. So um, what I particularly enjoy is working with people who are just getting started, and they need some help with that end of the, of the business. And um, I can I can help them not have to worry about that, mm -hmm. and it's turned out to be very rewarding. Um, and then the cleanup is really when somebody comes to you and they've maybe not had somebody for a couple of years, and all of a sudden they've got to put things together. I thought I'd ask you. That must be crazy. Uh. <laughs> it's like putting a puzzle together, <laughs> and, and it takes a while sometimes, and it, it gets a little frustrating. And then you untie it, and it's like, oh wow, you know, just like when you finish a puzzle and you got the last piece in. So um, that's really what I what I'd like to specialize in, and and um, and really you know help people who are trying to, to follow their dreams. Yeah, and she does it well too. I can I can, I can imagine with the interest rates being so low, people that have been running small businesses and never really did anything. Now they're like, well, we got to get our books in order mm -hmm. to go buy a house or get a loan or. You know, and they're like, Karen, we need your help. <laughs> yeah. Well, with so many people refinancing right now, there's there's a, a lot of people having to put a lot of information together um, to even qualify for those loans. Mm -hmm. And so you do have to be able to go to the books and, and know what you have and and how much you're going to have coming in. Yeah, your balance sheets, yeah. your profit loss statements. I'm like, I always, that's why I tell my girlfriend, why can't I just cook? Why do we got to do all this stuff? <laughs> you know, why do we got to do all this stuff? So I, in here, I have a red onion. We did the, the last, so like a quarter of red onion. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a, a little corner of the jalapeno. I love it. <laughs> There's somebody over here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it'll, it'll go a long way, you guys. Tomato, black beans, red onions, jalapeno, four things, and a little cilantro. Cilantro, you can cut the whole stem. You can eat it all. It's the only herb you can eat the whole stem. Hold it. Let's get a little chop on here. Mm -hmm. I won't cut my finger, Tony. Show Sometimes you. We don't have a medic. I know. Yeah. Sometimes it's so fast. So. There we go. The rest of that's just garlic. So that's probably what about a tablespoon. So oh, if you were entertaining, you could like cut all this up and split it off into two things. Yeah. And take care of your your uh, company. You but, know their order of needs. But a bing, but a boot done, done. Olive oil. And so these have a little, a lot of similarities, except for the black bean cilantro, just a very light, not too much of that one. I just want a little bite to it. You just put in red wine vinegar. Red wine vinegar, olive oil, salt, pepper. We have garlic in here, tomatoes, we have the red onion. So you see how these pair a lot together? Yeah, yeah. The only difference is gonna be your black beans, cilantro, and jalapeno in this okay. one. Tony, you wanna try this one, Tony? Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> we'll, get this. we'll give it a little one to see if it's Okay, okay, right. okay, fine. <laughs> see if she crunches behind the camera. <laughs> this. Take a look at I'm gonna drop the camera. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Thank Take you. Take a look at that. I'm telling you, while you guys are swimming in your backyard this summer, make some of this stuff, some Christinis, and our baked, uh, our baked brie, forget it. Or you can just call me and I'll go to your house and do it all. I like right? that idea. How was that one? Awesome. It definitely has a little smokier, heartier flavor. With the black beans mm -hmm. and the jalapenos and stuff like that. We're going to get a quick cleanup. We'll be right back, you guys. So here we go, you guys. We have our wonderful bruschetta made. Okay. We have, you tasted it. What do you think? Good? Super yummy. So we have our Texas cowboy caviar, which is our black bean salsa here, you guys. Leave these two right there. We can leave them there for right now. Come on over here. I'll show you what we have on our oven. Let's take it out. I'm gonna show, pull it out. Look at this. La, 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 nice and la, soft la, la, in the la, middle la. with our hot pink mint. We're gonna take this <laughs> Yes, hot pink for you. Turn it off so I know it's off, you guys. The fruit, the all the berries, I turned it off already. Okay. So it's just in its own syrup right there. Look at that. That's and I'll show you how to serve this. You guys, really easy. That's pretty. And look at this, how soft this is on the inside. Let's get it closer. Look at that, nice and soft on the inside. See how it's oozing right there? Mm -hmm. You don't want it oozing everywhere because they'll start running. They'll start going everywhere. So what we're gonna do is bring this right over here. Get a little spatula here. So you get fancy with it. 
So I'm going to leave that right there for right now. Okay. With the spatula. And are you ready to taste all these goodies? Absolutely. Oh, uh, you ready? You ready to yes. rock and roll? So we're going to start plating, you guys, and we'll be right back. Okay. So here, we, here we go, everybody. We're going to start plating. We have our wonderful black bean salad, which is our Texas uh, black bean cowboy caviar. We have our bruschetta here. We have our baked, look at this, how soft it is. They're mm. baked free. I'm going to show you how to present this right now. We have our crostinis that we did here. What I do with the break the baked brie, let's cut it right in half. Bring it over here. I'm only gonna use half of this. There we go. Let's get this other half out of here. Look at how look at this. It's running. Just oozing. Oh god, that looks good. Let me get a little bit of shop. This looks beautiful. And we're gonna bring our berries. It's our Blackberry, blueberries, and some raspberries. Put that right on top. Look at this. Mm. And you don't need to get any of the juice because there's juice already coming out. Look at that. Wow, that looks gorgeous. Look at, look at that. Oh my god. So let's get a couple of these here. We'll get about four of those. Put them right back here. For this. Get another one with some caviar. By the way, Chef makes a killer charcuterie. Yes, oh, yes, yes. He does. <laughs> Thank I, you. My family is is hard to please all of them all at the same time, and the charcuterie did it. They loved it. Yes. Look at that there. Let's get a little bit of this glaze. This you can find in any store. I'm oh, not actually any store. I got this in Knox Hill, I believe. A little balsamic glaze. Mm. And there you go. Look how beautiful wow. that is. We only did one of these, but we could make so many more. You guys, we have our. A baked brie with a nice little berry, a cooked berry topping. Our wonderful fresh tomato bruschetta. We have our cowboy caviar. And uh, we're gonna have Karen try it right now. Thank All you. Right. Here we go, Karen. So you gotta let us know how it tastes. Okay. She's gonna try one of these, but after she will try them all. So which yes. one are you gonna pick? I'm gonna try the one I've never had before. Which one's that one? The black it's your cowboy Yeah. Caviar. <laughs> Here she goes. Let's see if she yeah. likes it. Mmm. Good, good flavor in there. To get Absolutely. that freshness mm -hmm. and not too spicy, huh? Not too spicy. Now, you made it. We got a thumbs up, you guys. We got a thumbs up. Yay! And also, thank you for coming on the show. And thank, thank you, you for thank you me. for uh, always being there. Every <laughs> event we've always had you had here, I've always seen you involved, and and I know you're a big support for Tony, and we I know she appre she appre appreciates you, and also do I, and you're part of our family. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for coming on the show. What do you think, Tony? She did good? Yes, absolutely. Thumbs up. She thumbs looks up. fabulous in that I know, you're blouse. just popping. You look beautiful today. <laughs> every day. Every day. Every day. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to episode number two of the Neo Kitchen. My name is Chef Mark Segovia. Tune in next week for some wonderful recipes. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.